My favorite part of the Christmas story is when, quote unquote, heretics were the first people to like discover Christ in, I think that was Matthew, the wise men. The wise men were not, um, they're not Jews, they're not Jews. They were from the East. Um, some sources say that they were Persian priests, um, astrologers, some people call them kings, others sorcerers. So basically what I'm trying to say is that People who are not um, righteous, of like you know, following the laws of the Mosaic laws, were the ones to discover Christ, following a star, following astrology. So it kind of makes me feel like anyone can, literally, from the birth of Christ, anyone can find Jesus if they wanted to. The character that I relate to most is Joseph. This is because Joseph was given a burden to take care of Mary while she was pregnant, and he was unaware that he would become the father of Jesus who would come to save us. In many instances, you feel that you have been given a burden, but in real sense, God is actually blessing you to do something great. And that is why I relate to Joseph the most. The character I relate to in the Christmas story the most is the innkeeper. The guy who told them that um, the rooms are full, the only thing I can give you is probably like the major. So for me, why I relate to the innkeeper is because he gave what he had, and sometimes that's, you, you feel like that's only what you can give. You have all this going on, and then God calls you to do something or asks you to obey in a certain part of your life, but you only have like 25% that you can give. And sometimes it's okay to just start from that 25%. Akina Mary and Joseph give 100%. This guy gave what he could give. And you know you can start with what you can give and then grow from there. The scripture that I'd love to share that relates with the Christmas story is from Luke chapter 1, 25. And it says, the Lord has done this for me, she said. In these days, he has shown his favor and taken away my disgrace among the people. This was Mary when she was pregnant and she was able to see that actually that her pregnancy was a blessing and she took it up and yeah, we have Christmas from the birth of Jesus. This, a passage of scripture that centers the Christmas story for me would have to be Luke 1 verse 38. Then Mary said, behold, I am the servant of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. And Matthew 1 verse 24, um, which says, Then Joseph awake, awoke from his sleep and did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him. What I see you know, being prevalent in the Christmas story is obedience. They were told, Mary was told, you'll have a child, um, born of the Holy Spirit, she obeyed. Go to your sister Elizabeth, she obeyed. Joseph was told not to divorce her, he obeyed. Um, go to Egypt, he obeyed. You know, people were just like obeying. The wise men were told, don't go back to Herod, they obeyed. The shepherds were told, go and see um, the Messiah has been born. They obeyed. So for me, Christmas just reminds me to obey God in my life. All the world awaits the promise of his birth. Open up the gates, heaven come to earth. Host of angels sing, our Savior here to dwell, the King of every King, our Emmanuel. Hosanna, 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 Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna to our God. Behold the Son of Man, here in a manger live. Worthy is the Lamb, for He has come to save, to take away our sin. He freely gave His life, born that we may live. And in him never die. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna.
Hosanna, Hosanna. 